Hi guys, welcome back to City Skylines. This is episode number 13, I think. Today we're going to connect the dots. We're going to try to weave all these different areas we've built uh, into a coherent city, or at least that's the idea. But before we do that, we've got to put out a few fires. We've got to fix a few problems. So number one, I'm seeing some, uh, some pollution like sewer backwash going on here. And lo and behold, our sewer treatment is not up to snuff. So let's put a water drain pipe, another one, over here. I would like to have it have one over here, but that would cause a lot of pollution to just come down this river right here and into, into our water takes. So I guess all of our pollution is going to be here. Oh, it's not connected up. Hang on. There. Uh, so now that's connected up. And anytime uh, we uh, anytime we run low on sewage treatment, these guys are going to be the first to suffer because they I guess because they're the farthest away from the pipes that are uh, dumping the sewage. You think you would think it would be the opposite though. If it got backed up, it would get backed up here, where all the sewage is going to, and this should be the last place to have sewage problems because they're the farthest away from the drain. Uh, but whatever. Okay, we've got a, a fire going on. Pretty sure I've got uh, fire departments covering that area, though. Okay, so that was uh, job number one. That was job number one. What else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, we are a little bit low on power. Now, I, I'm thinking of trying out a hydropower plant. This will... This should provide a lot of power. And I was looking at the water. The big problem with hydro power is the it's it's very likely it's gonna backfire on you when everything starts to flood. Um, so I'm looking around at the rivers and the levels, and I'm actually I'm not gonna build it right now because I think a good spot would be right here. So the water that would back up it might flood a little bit into here. And into here, but everything else is higher than this point, except for what's downriver. Um, so I think this is actually a good spot, but we can't actually build that there because I don't have that terrain, and we don't have the option to buy it. So until we get that, and until we expand into our high pollution area that I've been talking about for a while, I guess it's going to be windmills again. Okay, and that is still 8 megawatts. As long as I'm getting 8 megawatts, I'll keep posting them here. This one is only 5, so I guess we're... We've mostly capped out... Oh, this one has 8. Okay, we have not capped out our little windmill hill. Yeah, let's get them in as dense as possible. Let's put in, like, 4 or 5. Oh, okay, that's down to... F oh, hang on. Yeah, we can do more. Yeah, as dense as possible. Okay, that's probably good for now. Our windmill hill. Well, we've got uh, three windmill hills, I guess. Okay, so that will do for now. Now, the other problem is if you see here, we've got a lot of empty buildings and a lot of, like, workers required or workers missing in this office zone. So if you click on it, um, it says they have a need for well-educated workers, and guess what? Well, we, we're not producing any, because I have yet to build any high school, so it is definitely time to build some high schools. Those are 24000 each, and I'm making 7000 a week. Now, let's, uh, let's take a look and see if I have any loans available. Oh, we can probably bump these up to 11% as well. Squeeze a little bit. Squeeze just a little bit more out of our... Populous. That's probably not too bad. Uh, loans. So we're still paying this one off. And we've actually paid off about half of it. And this one, once we get access to it, will take even longer to to pay off. We could do this one, but it's only 20000 Uh That's not even enough for one high school. And we're making enough right now, so I think we will just... Yeah, I think we'll just wait for the money to come in, and we'll we'll buy them individually. Wow, that thing is kind of big, isn't it? Okay, I could probably put it here. 
And it's got a pretty big area, doesn't it? So if I put it, like, up here... Well, it's not going to fit because the road is curved, I think. Okay, what about this? This is going to cover... Basically, all of this residential area and all of this residential area with one high school. Check that high school out. Okay, you're evicted. <laughs> Look at that high school location. Wow, that's the most scenic high school in the history of mankind. Now, are you not hooked up to water? Oh, I didn't put water there. All right. Uh, okay. Okay, we can do that. Just like that, and then let's connect you up to the uh, the water source. Now let's just go ahead and link these up into a a proper grid. Probably not totally necessary, but I like having a little bit of redundancy here and there. All right, so there's a high school that's going to cover all of that. Uh, we still need a high school to cover all of these guys here. And all of these guys here. So that's probably going to be two more high schools. Uh, I will eventually expand onto this island. And this will probably be more houses. So maybe like one high school for this whole area. And then another high school there. But while we're waiting on that, let's uh, let's start expanding some of these areas. So for instance, we've got this area we started with. Is only not really connected into here. Except for this thing. And I think we could probably expand... Ooh, another fire. Well, the firemen... They're here. Fire truck. Extinguishing fire. Oliver Holmes. Firemen. Extinguishing fire. Uh, I think we could probably put a road going through there. But I also want a road to come up here. And we're going to have some uh, an off-ramp. We're going to connect it up to that. Uh, so I think first thing I want to do is build a road going up this hill. Is this all traffic? Do we have a lot of traffic problems here? Let's take a look at our traffic. Power's fine. Water's fine. Oh, this is a big traffic problem. All right, so maybe adding these roads will help. Uh, so let's grab the six lane, and I'm going to go, like, right up there. Freeform road tool. Like that. Slope? How is the slope too steep? Seriously. Okay. Uh, bam. Okay, that's probably good for right now. And yeah, hopefully that'll give... Once we get all these roads connected up, hopefully they'll have more than one way to get um, to this area from the highway. I mean, look at this exit ramp right here. It is going crazy. Uh, well, let's not worry about that right now. Let's not worry about that right now. Let's finish up connecting some of these roads. Uh, also need to expand it here. They want more industry, so tell you what. Let's go ahead and zone some stuff over here into uh, industrial zones. Not high density, just normal. And if they don't like it, they can wait. Because we don't have enough high schools... To uh, provide well-educated citizens, also going to need. Once I get the high school stuff done, we're going to need some universities, which are going to be even more expensive, but they'll be worth it in the long run. Even necessary, I guess you might say. Okay, so there's that guy. Uh, we've got a road going up there. How would I connect through here? I want. Maybe we just connect these straight roads. Like this road right here might connect to you. This road might connect to you. Yeah, okay, let's just do that. Two-lane road. Um, let's get the straight ones. And you are gonna get evicted, a lot of you boneheads. See you later! There we go. Okay, now why... Oh, it's it made a little slopey slope, so no, uh, no zoning there. That's alright. Uh, okay, so I think I'm going to delete that to get rid of an unnecessary amount of intersections. Um, and then I think I may delete some... It's just, you're all... See you later. You're no longer welcome. You are no longer welcome here. Yeah, okay, so let's, let's do this then. Um, maybe we'll extend this road out to about... 
Oh, no, I don't want the curvy road. I want the straight one. Let's extend this out to about there. And then, can I not... Can, can I not connect to underneath there? What if we... What if we just, uh, delete that? Oops. No, no, I don't want that. I want the, uh... Yeah, this. There. Okay, so there's, um... There's some more of those. And I think we'll just leave the rest as is, and then we can add back in some uh, low-density, really crappy location. Like, if you move to a city and you're looking for a place to live, this is probably not your first choice. <laughs> but, I mean, some people are desperate. Some people don't have many options, so we cater to the desperate. I guess I would say. We're going to cater to the desperate. Okay, good. Um, I know, oh, another thing I want to look at is, are there any power lines I can get rid of? I still have this power line connecting there. But we still need that, actually. Because we haven't built anything on that part of road. Um, let's see. We still have lines connecting these, because they haven't connected yet, either. And we've got a line connecting to that. Alright, never mind. I guess it's all fine. And we've got our sole windmill over here. Over here. Powering that one water pump. Okay, uh, so let's think about um, having this highway connect up to our main system. Oh, come on. Mm, why don't you want to do that? Okay, let's do it this way. There, and then we'll just uh, upgrade it, reverse the direction. There we go. Okay, uh, and then if this is going to come down here, I want it to sort of link up to that and then lead off to here. So let's grab the six-laner. And let's just have a straight road. Don't need, doesn't need to all be curvy craziness. There. Um... Looks a little weird, but it works. Looks a little weird, but it works. Uh, and then this one... I probably... This has no traffic lights currently, and I would like to keep it that way, so... Let's make this one... Reform rule, go kind of along there. And kind of do this thing. There we go. Once I get the bigger, bigger roads built, uh, we can come back in with the smaller ones and just fill in like kind of like a grid type thing. Okay, let's go down the... Oh, you know what? I was going to... I might be flooding this. So let's not do that. When's our next... We're going to get our next uh, two kilometer by two kilometer area that we can buy at 13,000 people. Uh, I have the money for another high school too, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's supply Triangle Town with a high-quality high school. Ooh, if, it'll, if it's going to fit anywhere, I may have designed this. Oop, there we go. That's a pretty good amount of area coverage. Uh, I should probably put it over here because we're probably going to have more houses over here. What if I put it like... Yeah, if I put it way out here in this road we just constructed, it still supplies all these houses with high schools, with a uh, high school education. There. Smiley faces engage. Alright, um, so now most of our popul- You're supposed to be darker green, you guys, right over here. Why are you not covered? When I did this, it looked like basically everybody was going to be covered. Uh, I don't know. But most of our population is covered, except for these guys. We still need another one there. A few more weeks, and we should have that. And we're also gaining um, a decent amount of people. Okay, uh, so we connected this up. I would like to connect up this one, if that's possible, just to have one more avenue, one more way to get from the highway into the city. So what if we do something like this? Hmm. 
Okay, let's uh, let's put the six laner down. And I think for this I want a curvy road. And just sort of do something like that. There we go. All right, so now can I put... Can I connect this to here? Let's just make that straight. Yeah, okay. And then we'll need to reverse the direction of this one. There we go. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, has that alleviated our traffic problems whatsoever? Probably not. Because we haven't really focused on this, although we do have more ways to get uh, on and off the highway, which is actually good. Okay. Um, so from there, let's add some more just like general roads. While we're waiting on the rent to come in to add another high school. So I will want a straight one. Uh, do I want it connecting up to this? I guess so. Yeah, that's actually a good spot. Because the uh, the intersections are fairly well spread apart. Um, but if I put one there, we're going to have a light right... I don't want a light there, so I'm not going to put a light there. Because I don't want a light there, so I'm not going to put a light there. I also don't want a light close to this, so... Um, I guess we're going to have, like, some roads here. And the only way to get there will be through these smaller roads. I guess that's okay. All right, that's fine. Um, we probably don't need to get too close to the highway anyway. And then on this side, I don't want intersections there. I guess we maybe could have one here. Yeah, I'm kind of... I want to keep these intersections as far apart as possible. So it looks like I kind of have to do it like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe not the best. There we go. And let's just, let's get, uh, I guess we don't need that one. Okay, so that's more roadage that we can uh, fill in with buildings. And also I want to extend these roads. These are four lane roads, I think. So let's extend them here. So we'll need the curvy guys. Uh, $24,000. Almost enough money. Almost enough money to make that uh, not last high school. Okay. And then we will want more of these uh, straight two-laners. Fill in the last of this we started so long ago. Straight road. Good. And another. Good. Um. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know about that. Okay, and then this one. And this will just come back to here, and then we'll delete the little dead ends. Uh, so previously I talked about wanting to read to change the way that this is laid out because we have a lot of intersections on this fast six lane road that's supposed to be coming through here and the less intersections the less traffic uh, let's just take a look okay we're gonna need power soon water's fine um, the traffic is not bad through here it's mostly bad in here because this is industrial area this is where a lot of people come to work and they're coming from all over the place. But I still want to fix it. So, um, let's see. We're going to do... If I just get rid of, like, every other one. Ooh, what did that delete? Okay. Um, and we're going to need to get rid of them on the other side, of course. Otherwise, what, what would be the point? You still have all the intersections. All right, so the intersections are half as dense now. Uh, and I think it's okay to put them on these smaller roads, because the smaller roads have less traffic. So let's grab Mr. Curve. See if I can... Um, this will be a little bit weird. 
trying to replicate the curve when I'm going through. All this established stuff. Oops. Uh, okay, that's all right. I'm trying to get this, these these new little roads to sort of match up with the overall curve of uh, Swirlyville, the urban design of Swirlyville. Mm, no, we need to kind of curve this way, guy. Okay, and then curve. Uh, okay, kind of. That's a little bit better, and then we could also put a little road connecting these two, I guess. Yeah, not so bad. All right, so we've reduced the amount of intersections there. We could probably do something similar here. Uh, I'm not worried about that right now. Let's see, we're up to 34,000. Let's build another high school. And you need to be over here, kind of close to the water. Eventually, I'm going to build some bridges. I don't know how exactly, because I didn't, wasn't really thinking about bridges when I built this. But I guess we'll do so eventually. Maybe on this fast road and this little section of water would be, or a section of land where there's extra land here. That may be just about the only place I can actually place it, to, actually. Yeah, okay. I think that's going to be all right. There, high school. Smiley faces engage. Oh, and look how far it, it reached all the way over to there. We are increasing their education already. That's going to take a while to catch up. Uh, but hopefully, educated one out of one. Highly educated. Uh, we don't have any of those. We'll need a uh, university for that. Well educated, three out of three. Okay, so that is definitely having an effect. We are up to, well, we were, actually our income has gone down a little bit. But that's going to happen every once in a while. Let's get rid of these abandoned buildings. Who needs them? Not me. And see, it produces smiley faces when we do that, so it's a good thing. Who wants a bunch of abandoned buildings in your uh, trash cans? Oh. Um, who wants a bunch of abandoned buildings in your neighborhood? Nobody. Okay, trash cans. Let's look at the trash. Uh, so we w we did have this. It's still full. Ooh, this one is almost totally full. Our incinerator is not keeping up with demand. Okay, this is a problem. We need to fix this right now. That's full. Ooh, and that's full too. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. All right. <laughs> we need to fix this right now. This is, uh, very important. 30,000. And then the landfill sites are only 4,000. I think... Hmm. The problem is my landfill sites are kind of far... They're getting far from uh, my other stuff. So I think maybe if I put one kind of like... Down here, that'll be good. And then uh, somewhat close to that, my new... I guess... Uh, yeah. We need more incinerators. We need incinerators ASAP can't put them there because it's too crowded. There's one. Alright, that'll help a little bit. Two more landfills. But I need to start piling on the incinerators. Um, I don't have nearly enough trash handling capacity for my population of nearly 12,000 people. Well, I think we made some good strides. Uh, let's see, what do they want? Residential? Let's go ahead and zone a little bit. Oh, we can rezone some of this. I did, never did come back in and rezone from uh, where we just like wreaked havoc earlier. So let's come in and do that. Uh, and then next time, I think we will continue with what we've been doing which is connecting the different areas of our city up a little bit better and raising the overall education level. So we fill up those office buildings 
We can ma make more money. That's already zoned. And let's zone some of this new stuff. Yeah, prime real estate. Right before the picking. All right, but that's it for this episode. Hope you're enjoying it. Leave your comments below. I will read them after the fact, because uh, I'm still on vacation. Actually, at this point, I'm probably just about to get home uh, from my trip. So uh, see you soon. Hope you enjoyed the series. Hope it wasn't a massive failure. <laughs> uh, and we'll see you, uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode. Bye-bye.